Thanks for watching. And what is this crazy sum? And does it simplify? The answer is yes, and for that we have to use some complex numbers. Just a little context, I asked my students to prove the resulting formula by induction. <laughs> they didn't like it, but the good news is there is a more direct way of doing it. Because what is sine of x? It's the same thing as e to the ix minus e to the minus ix over 2i. Sine of 3x is 3e to the 3ix minus e to the minus 3ix over 2i etc, etc, up to e to the 2n minus 1ix minus e to the minus 2n minus 1ix over 2i. Okay. And then you'll see soon there's something geometric -y going on. So let's factor out the 1 over 2i and separate positive and negative exponents. So this is e to the ix plus e to the 3ix plus dot 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 plus e to the uh, 2n minus 1 ix and minus e to the minus ix minus e to the minus 3 ix dot 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 and minus e to the minus 2n minus 1 ix. And I believe this also arises in Fourier series with maybe the Cesaro way of uh, summing up series. Maybe. I don't quite remember the details. But. but the nice thing is here is just technically a purely algebra exercise. I mean, you shouldn't be in algebra if you know how to solve this, but it's still nice. It doesn't use any calculus or whatsoever. OK, now from this, let's factor out e to the ix and see what happens. So this is e to the ix times 1 plus e to the 2ix plus dot 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 plus e to the 2n minus 2 ix and then minus e to the minus ix 1 plus e to the minus 2 ix plus dot 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 plus this is a slightly more complicated but this is minus 2n plus 1 so if you factor out e to the minus ix. I think this becomes e to the minus 2n plus 2. So in the end, e to the minus 2, and I think, so minus the following, just double check, uh, minus 2 times n minus 1 ix. And this is great because this is a hidden geometric series. So here, e to the minus 2 n minus 1 ix. I was just going to brag how big the whiteboard is, yet I <laughs> still overflowed. That's crazy. Okay. And again, the nice thing is this is a geometric sum because this is just 1 plus e to the 2 ix, e to the 2 ix squared, up to, I believe, the power n minus 1. So by the formula for the geometric sum, all this is is the following. This is 1 over 2i times e to the ix 1 minus e to the 2ix and I believe to the nth power because it's n minus 1 to the n. Very good. And then over 1 minus e to the 2ix and then same spiel with e to the minus ix. So 1 minus e to the minus 2ix to the n over 1 minus e to the minus 2ix. Which now you can just simplify. And again, the beautiful thing is this looks pretty complex, but it simplifies quite nicely if you think in terms of trig. So 1 over 2i e to the ix. All right. 1 minus e to the 2 nix. Nix geht here if you speak German. 1 minus e to the 2 ix and then minus e to the minus ix. So 1 minus e to the minus 2 nix over 1 minus e to the minus 2 ix. All right, 
Now, let's see how to factor this out, and it's quite an adventure. Because this kind of looks like sine, except we need to turn it into such. So for instance, let's factor out e to the nix. Then this 1 becomes e to the minus nix. And then 2 nix minus nix, that's just nix. Similarly, let's factor out e to the ix. Then this becomes e to the minus ix. And this is e to the ix, which looks just like sine, except the only thing we need to do is to divide by 2i. So divide by 2i here and divide by 2i here. And the nice thing is, this factor here cancels out with this factor. Great. What about here? So again, same spiel, but with minus nix. So e to the minus nix. Then, well, this becomes e, get a nix, e to the nix, and then e to the minus nix. Also very good. And similarly here, let's factor out e to the minus ix. Then what you get is e to the ix, and then e to the minus ix. And same thing as before, let's divide both sides by 2i. Good. And again, another beautiful simplification that e to the minus ix simplifies. All right, then what are we left with? 1 over 2i, e to the nix. All right, this is none other than minus sine of nx. This is also minus sine of x, which again, in this case, then just becomes plus. Okay. And then minus e to the minus nix. And in this case, even easier, sine of nx over sine of x. And look how cool that is. The term that was so annoying and that was so complicated actually becomes our helper term because now we have, lo and behold, a common factor. So what we're left with is, I know math is beautiful, but I love how sometimes you discover it's even more beautiful than you thought. So then you get sine of nx over sine of x times e to the nix minus e to the minus nix over 2i. And this oh, is just sine of nx. So in the end, this very complicated formula just simplifies to the following. Sine of nx over sine of x times sine of nx which, if you want, is just sine squared of nx over sine of x. And if you want to, you can simplify this even further. If you even call this simplification, you could also write it as 1 minus, two cosine, minus cosine of 2nx over sine of x, if you don't like squares. So what have we shown in the end? We've shown that sine of x plus sine of 3x plus dot 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 plus sine of 2n minus 1x. That's the same thing as 1 minus cosine of 2nx over sine of x. Well, how cool is that? All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.